Welcome back to the Rogues Gallery. It's finally time. We're playing Vampire Survivors, a slot machine disguised as a video game. We'll get in here real quick, pick the starting character, the default one, and the default stage. We will use hurry mode to speed things up a bit, and Arcanas, because I like them. So Arcanas, for those who don't know, are special cards that give you unique abilities you can use throughout the run. I'm going to go with a pretty basic one that just gives me re-rolls for weapons, and we'll start it up. So all characters have a default weapon. This guy's is the whip. It fires automatically, as do all weapons in this game. And it lets you kill enemies to get experience. What weapon do I want to start with? Magic wand's all right, but I feel... You know what? Let's do a magic wand. Why not? So I'm sure most of you have heard of this game, seen it by now, but the basic idea is you walk around, your weapon fires, it kills things, you pick up experience, you get a choice of items that you can use to upgrade, and you repeat. Pretty simple. Should we go wand game? Wand gameplay? Let's do it. Fire Wand and Magic Wand. So Magic Wand is sort of point defense. It targets one thing. Fire Wand sort of does the same. Whip is, I think, a really good weapon. It pushes enemies back and hits on both sides of you. What do we have? Uh, let's upgrade our wand, sure. But the main thing about Vampire Survivors is it sucks, and I hate it. I've played this game. I'm one of those people who goes on Steam, gives a negative review, and you look in the corner, and you see they played it for 60 hours. This game sucks. It is the antithesis of everything I believe in when it comes to roguelites. And by that, I'll explain a bit. So I've made it pretty clear that some of my favorite games are one, Enter the Gungeon, two, Hades, and there are a few others, but those are my main two. I think those are the pinnacles of the roguelite genre. I'm gonna keep going Magic Wand. As you can see, it fires faster as we go, although not fast enough. Gotta watch out for these bats. Vampire Survivors, in contrast to Hades or Enter the Gungeon, requires almost nothing of the player. It requires you to move. Everything else the game does for you. Although I suppose if I'm being generous, it also requires you to make choices about what weapon you use. Which can matter, I guess. But once you upgrade every weapon to its uh, maximum, they are usually all good. Ooh, Summon Knight. This is a DLC weapon. It can get very, very good if you have the area upgrade. But you know what? I'm a wizard. I love wands. Let's go. I have no AoEs at the moment, but my damage is pretty good, so I'm not too worried. Anyway, the pinnacle of Vampire Survivors, peak gameplay, if you will, is once you have your build set, you stand still. You do nothing. You just AFK, watch things run into you, watch the numbers go up, uh, and you have to do pretty much no thinking at all. Which, as I said, uh, kind of the opposite of what I like. I definitely like action roguelites. I like dodging, I like moving, I like, you know, getting better, having my reflexes and skill and decision-making matter in a game. And in Vampire Survivors, that's not really what it's about. And considering Vampire Survivors is uh, the new hotness, if you will, that most 
or rather a lot of roguelites now are coming out to copy its style. I think we are heading toward a bad place. You know, we need more Hades. We need more Enter the Gungeon. We need fast, frenetic action. Not this. This is not it. But you know what is it? The King Bible. King Bible is probably the best weapon in the game. I'm sure other people are fans of uh, other things, but what King Bible does is it summons those two Bibles. They rotate around you. Like all weapons, it's not so good at the start, but as we upgrade it more, they'll get faster, they'll get more numerous, and basically they just form a good little shield of protection. That mantis there, the big guy was a the boss. They all drop treasure. The treasure is usually gold, well, always gold, and also upgrades for your weapons. And you can also evolve your weapons if you have the right pre prerequisites ready. Doing a treasure chest is the only way to do that. Sadly, I have nothing ready right now, so I'm going to save these. And speaking of weapons, if you look in the top left, you will see that I have certain slots available. I have six weapon slots and six passive slots. Passives are things like the Attract Orb, which give you benefits, usually defensive, uh, but don't attack. Whereas weapons, of course, fire automatically, kill enemies, get you more XP. I would like a passive right now, actually. Empty Tome is good. Empty Tome is real good. It reduces cooldowns. Plus, it pairs with the Magic Wand, which is what I need. Now I'm kind of safe to stand around, but it won't be for long. The Hollow Heart also pairs with the Whip. So we're going to grab that real quick. Most defensive items are kind of boring, but you do need them for the upgrades. the whip again. If you're wondering, there is a goal, and that is to survive for 30 minutes. Because I'm in hurry mode, the clock is ticking a lot faster. But basically, you survive 30 minutes, you win. Alright, that's our last whip upgrade, level 8. The max. So let's hit these treasure chests and see if we can get an upgraded whip. I think that's it. Actually, no, that's the upgraded wand. No, that's a normal wand. Damn, I wasn't paying attention at all. If I gotta give it up for vampire survivors for anything, this chess music is a jam. I do like it. I will also have to say, I'll admit, this game has a lot of content. There are a lot of characters to unlock, a lot of stages, a lot of weapons. You do, considering it's $3, get a lot of value for your uh, money, so to speak. Or if it's, you're on mobile, I think it's free. But I can't imagine this runs well on mobile. Things are going to get pretty crazy toward the end. Also, I need to navigate back down a bit. But it's kind of hard since my whip hits upward. Oh, surrounded. You know what? I'm gonna break through. I'm going for it. All right. None of these are really great. Spellbinder will be necessary for the evolution of the book. Go fire wand again. Get some chicken. 
also another thing I haven't really talked about. Uh, this game is all fake Castlevania assets, which is technically in my wheelhouse. I love a good Castlevania. It also plays by most Castlevania rules, like Chicken Heals You, Red Skeletons Revive. I think most of the assets are not ripped directly from a Castlevania game, but they are all Castlevania game enemies. We got werewolves, we got skeletons, there's bone dragons. No vampires there. I guess that's the joke. Man, I would really like uh, a treasure chest. Hey, we found some curry. So curry gives you uh, a little beam attack here for a bit. Useful for clearing the area. The purple treasure chest will give me an arcana. This looks kind of bad, actually. I could really use an AoE attack of some sort. My magic wand and fire wand are... Not quite cutting it right now. Right, this should give me some sort of upgrade. All right, nice. So the upgraded whip can deal critical damage and also absorbs HP sometimes. So it will help me stay alive for a bit. Let's go. Empty Tome is never a bad choice. Blood Astronomia is probably my favorite Arcana. It basically gives you a special damage zone if you have the right items, or even if you don't. But since I haven't invested in any of the items that it works with, let's see what else we got. Weapons get plus one amount. That's not bad. Yeah, let's go with that. That'll make her whip fire a lot more. Now this is the evolved magic wand. It just fires continuously. I don't think we can evolve anything else right now, so I kind of want to save the treasure chest. Uh, spinach. Spinach is always a good choice as well. It raises damage and pairs with fire wand. Oh, that's a boss. I feel a little bad because I'm not rocking any DLC weapons or any anything that's not really in the base starting hour of gameplay. But these are all pretty solid. I mean, a lot of the DLC weapons and later weapons are not as good as some of the normal ones. We could take up a bracelet. But nah, I'm just going to work on Fire Wand for now. You know, they're classics for a reason. Pentagram is trash. One of the few weapons I hate. All right, enemies are scaling up, but I my build is pretty good right now. Not too worried. I would like more Fire Wand, but I guess Spinach isn't a bad pick. Not really using my rerolls too much. Let's sneak around and grab this stuff. Fire wands. Uh, garlic is. I'm a big garlic fan, but it does 
taper off in the late game, so it's probably not useful now. Let's re-roll. Uh, water. All right, give me a re-roll. Ew. This is actually worse. Um, let's go with... Duplicator. Duplicator is solid. Damn, I got a lot of levels. Alright, now we're going to see the true power of the Bible. The Lord's Book coming in clutch. It moves super fast. It covers a big area. It deals a lot of damage. Uh, should I grab water? You won't be able to evolve it. Actually, we might be able to. Let's grab the water. Water drops a damaging zone on the screen. You know what? Let's try to evolve the book. There it is. Praise God. So the Spellbinder does this. Keeps going, never ends, deals good damage. Basically prevents anything from, anything from getting near you unless it's really good. I think we might have reached Peak Vampire Survivor gameplay at this point. I think I could just set the controller down and the game will play itself. Uh, Lightning Ring. Nah, let's go with that. Yeah, this is it. So, uh, I'm gonna go get a drink. I'll be back in a moment. This is, I'm just, just trying to prove a point. Well, damn. I shouldn't have talked shit. I forgot. Boss came in and took me out. That's all right. One of the permanent upgrades I have is a revive. So I kind of want to book it before this boss kills me again. Ooh, upgraded fire wand. Not bad. I can't believe this game has forced me to play. Go with the water again. Got another Arcana. Ooh, this will make our wands bounce. Considering we have heavily invested in wand gameplay, kind of broken. So we're at about level 40, that's kind of where you are expected to be when you have your stuff maxed out, or at least most of it. We are pretty much untouchable at this point, although I have said that before, I suppose. Man, do I want to go for the extra evolved whip? I feel like it's kind of moot at this point. looking for... I'm not sure what I'm looking for, really. Silver Wind's really good. The gun at this point is not any good, because I would need a second gun. I don't have room for it.
attract orb? Sure. This will let us evolve the water. Attract orb kind of useful in general just because it will drag stuff towards you and make it easier when the screen is filled with bullshit. Uh, lightning ring. Yeah, you know what? Why not? It's another pretty basic weapon, but we're going for a basic ass build here. Lightning ring will damage enemies at random. It pairs with the duplicator. Going all in on water. We should be able to evolve it now. There it is. So you might have noticed there was a boss in the top left of the screen. Even they can't approach me now. She got torn up before she even hit the books, I think. Yeah, I think I'm good. I think I might have won. few treasure jets on screen, but at this point, they're not really going to do anything for me. The water book and fire wand are pretty much keeping the screen in check. I don't even need to go grab XP. boss bats that spawned in pretty early on are now just a common enemy and like everything else they die almost immediately upon getting into my kill zone yeah this is uh the riveting gameplay before. truly the next age the next generation video games. You know, some people said this was their game of the year. That's insane. If you said that, crazy. I'm talking. We made it. We're dead. So what happens at minute 30 is the Reaper comes in and kills you. You can kill the Reaper. Uh, you need pretty much a specific build to do it. You need Laurel to block damage and the Lancet to freeze him in place. And obviously a lot of DPS, but it is doable. I just didn't feel like doing it. And that is Vampire Survivors. I hate it. <laughs>